Hey, I'm Scott Palmer and uh, I got into poker maybe when I was 14 or 15. I played a lot of home games with people I played uh, soccer with and I won like the first three tournaments we played so obviously I loved it and uh, ended up meeting Jungle Man through the home games and me and him played online quite a bit and over the years maybe like after a year or two years of playing online we started getting into the higher stakes and realized how bad actually some people were. We, we thought everyone was really good at first, but uh, it turned out there was quite a bit of money to be made. So over the last couple of years, I haven't played as much, but that's obviously because I can't really play online too easily. I mean, I like staying in the US, so going overseas isn't the best thing for me at least. Yeah, when I first started playing high stakes, it was definitely very surreal. It was pretty interesting. Like uh, the money didn't seem real at the time. I mean. And I was living with my parents and they had no idea how much money I was making. Like actually, uh, it was Christmas one day and my dad kept coming into my, uh, where I played poker and kept telling me to like help him take the trash out or do something. And I was playing 50, 100 versus someone. And I kept telling him no in like 30 minutes and 30 minutes. And he got really mad at me. And then later I talked to him and he was like, you know, I, I was really mad. You, you decided not to help me out. And I was like, dad, I just won 170 K. And he's like, uh, it's, it's all right. You made a good decision. Then. So, I mean, uh, it's definitely, very interesting. I mean, uh, also my parents were a little shocked. Like I was probably playing high stakes after, or for like a year, year and a half, and they had no clue how much money I made. They thought maybe I made like 100K or 200K when it was a lot more than that. So that was pretty fun. It didn't really seem like it was real because, yeah, I played a lot of video games and it seemed very similar to that. And also it just seemed like uh, it was a little too easy <laughs> to be making that much money. Like I figured it would be extremely difficult and especially when I was playing the higher stakes. Like I played some people at 25, 50 and 10, 20, and obviously you can still make a lot of money there, but I sort of thought with how not good they were, they were hustling me. <laughs> but then when I played higher stakes and was winning a lot there, it kind of dawned on me that there's a ton of money to be made and that it is real <laughs> once I started getting paid. So, I mean, also it took a while for me to actually cash out with some money. So that's why it didn't feel real. I mostly kept a lot online. Maybe for like two years, basically every month, I would, this, this is when I was playing 200, 400 and around there, I was making or losing around 500,000 to 1.5 million a month, either winning or losing. Usually winning, thankfully, but uh, when I first started playing, I played on a pretty small laptop and I 22 tabled. And that, that was definitely a stupid idea, but I mean, when I was winning, winning a decent amount of money, it's hard for me to change and stop and try something else, so. Uh, one of the reasons why I was definitely extremely successful is because I met someone called Jungle Man who is an extremely intelligent person and uh, I learned a lot from him and I mean I always came like when I did school I was always way better at math than anything else and obviously poker is an extremely math and well it's all math if you figure it out right and uh, that definitely helped. I mean it also helped to have someone else who's obviously very good and whether you think you're right or you think he's right it's just nice to get a different outlook on how to think about the way to play the game so it's definitely nice to talk to other people and see how they think about certain stuff you know I'm trying to invest money and stuff like that I haven't exactly went crazy I considered buying a Lamborghini because that's like uh, something I wanted for a long time but Nowadays, it, I don't know if it's such a good idea. I mean, poker's a little more difficult to make as much money as before, but it's still uh, still pretty nice. Yeah, so basically Black Friday happened, and uh, I didn't believe it when I got a call from one of my friends because I was playing two tables of 100, 200 PLO, and he calls me and says, hey, did you hear what happened? All the poker sites are shut down, basically, or at least PokerStars in full tilt is. You're not allowed to play if you're on the US. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm playing right now, but Obviously, once I sat off the table, I realized that it wasn't a joke, and it was it was pretty pretty sick at first. I mean, I had I had a lot of money on there. I mean, multiple millions. So I didn't know what was going to happen at first. I mean, like the first couple weeks, I was I I don't know if I wanted to lie to myself or if I just had a lot of faith in Full Tilt and Poker Stars. And thankfully, my faith in Poker Stars worked out. They paid immediately, and that was really nice. Um, but for like the couple years. Full tilt didn't pay. I mean, I basically gave up on the money that was there. I thought I was screwed for sure. I mean, and it was also a ton of money for me. It was over half my roll or around half my roll. So that was 
pretty tilting moment, but thankfully I got paid in the end, so I can't complain. It was extremely nice when I, I finally realized everyone's getting paid out from that. I feel like I've gotten to the point where it's extremely harder for me to get better at it, so that's sort of why I've lost a little interest because I've thought of a lot of scenarios that could happen in poker and there's not many more that I think I could get better at pretty much. So it's it's a little annoying that basically I just don't, the, the skill ceiling is pretty close so I don't really think that uh, it's that interesting. 